the Honorable PM's vision for achieving energy atmanirbharta by the year 2047 assumes special significance given the fact that he is also the global face leading the fight against climate change. This situation demands that one of the crucial pathways for a slew of India's energy intensive sectors and applications is green hydrogen. Green hydrogen is also central to fulfilling India's commitments under the COP26 Paris Climate Agreement of carbon intensity reduction to less than 45% by 2030 and to achieve net zero emissions by 2070. The Honorable Minister of Road Transport and Highways Shri Nitin Gadkari ji has been one of the chief architects and pioneers of this groundbreaking thought process that encourages alternative fuel usage and propagation. As India has surplus of renewable energy and biomass, producing green hydrogen maximizes their usage. The Honorable Prime Minister's vision of India becoming energy independent gets a well paved pathway through this innovative mode for production of green hydrogen suitable for India the way the world travels in the coming years is going to change dramatically transport driven by green hydrogen is the emerging technology option bigger cars buses trucks ships and trains will all be power driven by green hydrogen medium to long distance traveling will be hugely facilitated with this radical change One of the best zero emission solutions powered by hydrogen is the fuel cell electric vehicle. The FCEV is particularly useful for hard to abate segments and for the long term. These FCEVs are fueled propelled by pure hydrogen gas stored in tanks on the vehicle. A total of 3 to 5 minutes is taken for the hydrogen fuel fill up exactly on the lines taken to fill gasoline or diesel at a filling station. Hydrogen is stored in high pressure tanks and is transferred into fuel cell stack to generate electricity created by the reaction between hydrogen and oxygen found in the air. Remarkably enough, there is no tailpipe emission other than water during the journey. One of the world's first hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle was the Toyota Mirai. In Japanese, the word Mirai means future. While the first generation Mirai was introduced in 2014, the second generation Mirai was launched in December 2020. With a 5 minute fueling time, the Mirai can travel 650 kilometers. 18,000 Toyota Mirai have been sold by December 2021. A pilot project conducted by Toyota Kirloskar Motor Private Limited and the International Center for Automotive Technology to gain deeper insights and evaluate the world's most advanced fuel cell electric vehicle is being conducted. Given the fact that the FCEVs run on hydrogen, the project will gauge the vehicle's sustainability on Indian roads given its climatic conditions. The study is a confluence in sync with the visionary thinking of the honorable prime minister's idea of reaching energy independence and the somber commitment of Toyota towards promoting sustainability by pioneering the use of a series of innovative pathways to facilitate the shift from fossil fuel energy toward environment conservation. The project is the first of its kind. and is an attempt at making the general indian public aware of the hydrogen fcev technology and the array of benefits a hydrogen based society offers to india the honorable minister of road transport and highways shri nitin gadkari ji would be doing the honors of inaugurating this pilot project and also offering a demonstration of the toyota mirai fcev